What's up guys? Stacy here from Becoming Financially Fit. Today I have an interesting topic to talk about. I was doing my research on the internet and I came across this article. And so I was reading through this article and it pretty much said that Time Magazine recently estimated that for a millennial with 40 years of retirement, which I include myself in that group, $1 million in savings is not likely sufficient taking into account 3% inflation over that time period. It would be worth just $306,000 in today's dollars. So that really got me thinking. A lot of people's goals eventually uh, for the millennials is to become a millionaire and a 401k millionaire. Um, but if I plan on retiring in 40 years and I'm just making contributions to get to that million dollar marker, but it's only gonna be worth about $300,000, is it really worth it? So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna dive deeper into 401ks and talk about, you know, are they really worth it? And does becoming a 401k millionaire really mean anything if you're not making multiple millions in that 401k and not just a couple hundred thousand? But before we get into the content, guys, my channel is about personal finance, financial literacy, savings, investing, and I also try to make some videos about entrepreneurship as well. So if you're interested in any of those topics, make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell to be updated anytime I post new content. Okay, let's get into the content. So I was reading through this article and it had a millennial fact in here. It said, for millennials who have an estimated 40 years into retirement, is $1 million enough to retire? Well, if inflation averages about 3% a year, that $1 million will have the same spending power as $306,000 today. So I don't know about you guys, but $306,000 is not gonna be enough for me. If you're thinking about, if you're retiring, you're about 65 to 70, um, $300,000 in buying power is not going to get you through your twilight years. Um, usually, you know, on average people live for another 25 to 40 years after the fact. So is $306,000 in spending power really going to get you to where you need to be? All right. So what I did was I went online and I found a 401k calculator and pretty much the premise of this calculator is to tell you based off of a couple of different simple inputs, what you are planning on having at the end of that 40 year period. So what I did was when I went into the calculator, I put in a current 401k balance of $0. Just for example purposes, and I'll switch this up a little bit as we go on just to give you guys some examples of what's actually happening. So then I put in annual contribution of $6,000. And in the simplest terms, that's $500 a month or $250 every two weeks. I think, you know, that should be a good number to start with. Then for employees matching contribution, I set that at zero. We're gonna be changing that over time to see how that affects the total balance. Years to retirement, $40 because that was, or <laughs> years to retirement, 40 years because that was the number of years in the article. And then for investment rate of return, I put in 7% because that's about standard for the market over the course of a long period of time. So we'll just go with that for now. So when I calculated this, it came out to $1.28 million, which is pretty cool. Just to think about, all you need to do is put in about $250 every two weeks consistently in your 401k, and you'll have over a million dollars at the end of that four years when you're ready to retire. But we just saw that $1 million equates to about $306,000. So this would equate to anywhere between $350,000 to $400,000 in buying power. So even though you will have $1.2 million, everything will be priced more. So when you think about the price of a home, uh, the pr standard price of living, groceries, everything, gas will be higher when you get into your twilight years and you're thinking about retiring. So this really isn't gonna do. So let's change some of the figures and let's see what it comes out to be. So you're saying that, hey, I've been working for a couple years, I'm a millennial and I've been contributing to my 401k um, for the past couple years and let's say I have a balance of $25,000 in there and it's working for me already in the market So what we'll do is we'll put in $25,000 in there as your current 401k balance We'll leave everything else the same We'll recalculate and that adds up to 1.66 million dollars So you can start to see just changing the values a little bit can drastically change the way your ending balance will look in your 401k at that about 7% rate of return here in the markets. So let's change up a couple other things. We'll go in, let's say we'll put this back to zero as your current 401k balance because let's say you're just starting out working or you don't have anything saved right now and you're thinking about what you should do for your 401k. So let's go in there. We'll say the current 401k balance is going to be zero dollars. Your annual contribution is going to be $6,000. And let's say, hey, your employer is going to match your contributions. So when you go in here, we'll say, okay, 
if they're gonna match my contributions, dollar for dollar, which a bunch of companies don't, so it all depends on your company, but we're just doing this dollar for dollar. Now let's see what it looks like. So 401k balance, zero dollars, annual contribution, 6,000, employee matching about 6,000 as well, years to retirement, four years, investment rate of return, 7%, if I calculate that, 2.6 million dollars. So now we're getting somewhere, but this is only uh, about in buying power terms, about let's say 650 to 700,000. So you're really still not seeing that buying power. So now you might be saying, hey, Stacy, can't you contribute more than $6,000 to your plan? And you're correct. Yes, you can contribute over $6,000 to your plan. And actually for 2020, you can contribute up to $19,500 into the plan. And this is all going to be taken out of your paycheck before and it's gonna be pre-tax. So let's see what it looks like if you're contributing the max limit for 2020 at least. So current balance is zero. We'll put in $19,500. No employee matching. And it'll be years for retirement 40. So we'll leave everything the same and we'll see what it looks like if you're contributing the max amount of money to that 401k. So we'll calculate it. $4.2 million. Now we're starting to get there. Now you can start to see why the IRS has set some of those limits because they know that over the period of time when inflation's at sitting at around 3% per year, you're gonna need a large sum of money in your 401k in order to meet the needs of your twilight years. So now you may be in a situation where, hey, you're making about the medium income for the US, which is sitting at right around $58,000. And currently you're only contributing about 5% because you know it's taking money out, it's starting to build up. And you know 5% is a good amount of money because your employer is gonna match up to, let's say 5% or up to 3% or something like that. So let's take a look at the numbers. When we're just looking at medium average income in the US, which is $58,000, we're gonna take 5% of that because that's what most people usually set as their contribution amount. And then we're gonna also put 5% percent as the employer matching and see where that comes out to be so now let's start out with zero dollars in your 401k balance your annual contribution is going to be twenty nine hundred dollars because that's five percent of the average medium u.s income um, so we'll do twenty nine hundred dollars then we'll also do twenty nine hundred dollars in matching over the course of 40 years and then same thing investment return is seven percent and let's see what that gives us that's $1.23 million. Now you can really start to see that if you really don't have a significant amount of money set aside in your 401k already, and you're not making huge contributions on either a monthly or a yearly basis, and you're not getting matched by your employer, you're not gonna be in a great position when it comes to retirement. So what can you really do about it? Because that's probably the same position that a lot of Americans are in today, especially the fact that most Americans are either getting laid off, getting furloughed because of the entire pandemic. Now, let's just talk about the facts. And this is probably something that you probably won't want to hear if you're not in a good position in your 401k now or you're not making huge contributions. What can you really do and what can you really depend on when it comes to retirement? First things first, you can't really depend on solely your 401k balance. So there are going to be other things that go into your retirement funds, um, but just relying on a 401k um, and what it's doing in the markets over the course of, let's say, 40 to 45 years it's only going to get you to a certain point. And as we saw in a couple of those examples, if you're putting in about 5% of your income, which is pretty decent and what most people can afford here in the US, you're only gonna be averaging out about a million dollars. And in terms of buying power, that's gonna be $306,000. So can you really depend on that for 20 to 25 years after retirement? I think no. So what are some other things that go into your retirement funds and things that you can actually rely on going forward? Well, there's something like Social Security, but for millennials, that might not be around in 40 years. There are a bunch of different articles and videos out there about Social Security going away. So that's, again, not something you can actually rely on. What are some other things? You can start investing in real estate. You can start to build some other streams of passive income. Or you could start doing some investing on the side as well through a brokerage account. You can open up your own business or you can start to do a side hustle. The main point about this whole argument is that you're going to need something to do besides your 401k and besides social security to actually fund your retirement. Now that you're armed with these figures and you know that even if you do have a million dollars in your 401k account here in about 40 years when you think about retiring, it's not gonna be enough. So you should take the time now to make a plan for yourself and use this calculator. I'll actually leave a link to the calculator 
down in the description so you can go in and you can kind of fiddle around with it with your balance currently, what you're contributing currently, if your employer is matching, and, and also your time frame because these are serious figures that you need to get in order before you even get close to retirement. So question for you guys, before I made this video, did you think that uh, 401k and the amount of a million dollars was a lot of money? If so, drop a comment below. And if not, let me know what you thought that a decent sum of money in your 401k was or a balance that you think you can be comfortable with when you go into retirement. But guys, that was just a quick conversation about the article I saw out of Time Magazine. If you guys wanna check out that article, I'll leave it down in the description below. But if you got some value out of this, make sure you smash that like button. It really helps me out and it helps out my channel so much as well. I'm on my way to building a thousand subscribers and anything from you guys helps. So if you're interested in any of the topics that I covered today, or you wanna hear some more in the future, make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell to be updated anytime I post new content. See you guys soon.